Hello, uh, welcome to the SIF 2020 Live from the Living Room tonight, our pre-screening chat this evening ahead of the Irish premiere of Wildfire. I'm Fiona Clark, I'm the Festival Director and CEO, and joining me from Living Rooms far and wide are my Festival Partner in Crime, our Programme Director, Anna Kapeska. And we are both really delighted to welcome tonight Kathy Brady, uh, the writer and director of Wildfire, Nora Jane Noon, um, who plays Lauren, and David Collins and Carlo Crestodina, both producers of the film. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, you're also you're also welcome. How lovely to see you all. Looking very <laughs> bright and chirpy of a of a Wednesday evening. Um, where are you joining, Carla? Where are you? Um, where are you joining us from? At the moment, I'm in Italy, in Sardinia. We start uh, shooting our next film tomorrow morning, uh, with all finger um, crossed. Uh, so, full of energy, and uh, yeah, I don't bore you with all the <laughs> conundrum that you can imagine about, you know, running a, um, a set during COVID. But uh, we, we're going to make it. Very good. Oh, it's lovely to have you join us. Thank you. And um, and Kathy, Kathy and Nora Jane, where where are you um, uh, calling in from? Well, I'm. Uh, I'm oh. <laughs> and Jane, you go first. Hello. Uh, I'm in LA at the moment. So yeah, um, it's nice and sunny outside. Just oh, lovely. Yeah, and Kathy, where are you? <laughs> And David, I think you're in Dublin. Oh, you're on mute, David. Sorry, I'm in Dublin, yeah, and we're in our last week of shooting. So I'm sick and tired ah. of COVID protocols. Um, Carlo, good luck with everything tomorrow. I'll chat with you over the weekend. We'll compare notes. We'll compare notes. Okay, sure, sure, Thanks, fantastic. Well, Great I'm happy. I'm out in East Cork and Anna is in Kinsale in West Cork. So we're, we're, we're very eclectic um, this evening, but you're all really welcome. I'm so glad that um, we could all get together um, tonight. Um, I know obviously we would love to be together in person and very much hope that that will happen uh, again soon, but it's gorgeous to see you all on screen. And we're really, really thrilled to have um, this wonderful and powerful film um, in Irish premiere in the festival this um, this year. In fact, Anna was the first person to see it and was um, super passionate about it from the start. And I'll hand over to her for a second and then we want to hear all your news. Yeah, I just really want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. And I wish it was under a bit different circumstances because this is my first year. So I was hoping to be in the Everyman with, with you. And uh, as you can see, I am in my living room, but I'm also, um, in our studio because the festival never sleeps, it's online <laughs> till Sunday. And we really wanted to create a special event, even though everybody can watch the film till Sunday. We really wanted to have at least this opportunity to meet with you, even though everybody's shooting and on different corners. So maybe it's easier, maybe it's easier for us to meet this way than drag everybody to Cork, but we really hope you will come and you will show wildfire and you will show your new project guys of course <laughs> <laughs> and and kathy how are you, how how are you getting on how how are you feeling tonight with the irish premiere and i, I know the film has screened it at some other uh, at some other festivals but this is uh, you know back in ireland how, how's how, how are you feeling tonight well like cork has always been a huge part of my career like with my shorts my first short small change and then morning um winning both times at Cork really felt like it just literally launched my career. So it feels very special to bring my debut to Cork. And yes, it's not in ideal circumstances by far, but you know, it's 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 a story that needs to be told. And you know, I'm really grateful that we have the opportunity on a rainy Wednesday night that we all get to sit together and watch a film at home. And it's that's true actually. I mean, we are we are all watching together. We may be watching online, but there is a really strong sense of of collective um, of viewing. And there's you know lots of lots of lovely comments on on social media. And I know that you know we can we can see that lots of people are uh, are signed in and, and ready to watch for tonight. Um, uh, and listen, it wouldn't be it would be odd if we didn't. Um, 
you know, recognize that there's there's one person who's sort of very present by their absence uh, tonight. And um, I know that you, you, you want to say a few words, and I'm, I'm sure that uh, Nora Jane, you do too, about Nika McGuigan, who sadly isn't with us um, tonight. Yeah, I mean, just to say that she's, she's so missed and it, that's just part of why it's so, it feels so special and so important to be able to share it and especially at home and for her family. Um, so just to be able to, put it out there and and also you know this is lovely thank you so much for for this live chat because um so many of our interviews have been pre-recorded but it's lovely to feel even though we can't see or hear anybody <laughs> to know that they're out there you know and they're you know sitting with us at the moment and they're ready to to go on this journey um that kathy so beautifully you know created and we got to, myself and nika were so proud um and felt so privileged to be part of and i know i i that's one thing i know nika would would you know agree with me on tonight to be able to say that to Kathy um and yeah and other than that you know um you know I think there's such a big part of any performer's heart and soul that they put into a project so to to be able to um have that to hold on to is, is a really beautiful thing and you, you it clearly have such a strong bond in, in the film. And we, we're not going to go into a lot of detail because we want people to watch it and there's a QA and a afterwards. I mean, uh, Cathy, you, you kindly shared with us earlier um, a short film, The Making of Wildfire, directed by um, Colm Quinn. And we'd really love to show that and share that with audiences if you're happy for us to do that now. Absolutely. Thank you. It's been a gift to be on this journey with these two remarkable actresses. It's been incredibly painful to have lost one of them while making this film. Before I had Wildfire, I had met these two amazing actresses, Norgia Noon and Nika McGuigan. There was just something remarkable about both of their energies. Kathy gave me a call and she said, I've met this girl, Nika McGuigan, and I really want you two to meet because there's something very interesting about the two of you together. So we met, we had a pint of Guinness, we hung out. Then she said, look, I'd, I'd love you two to work with me for my feature. Of course, I was like, yes, 100%. We rented a hall. I put all the images we'd gathered along the back wall and all I had was music. I was trying to kind of get the girls to unlock and meet each other's energy. It was in the first workshop that we found that dance scene. It really defined our relationship and it defined the whole journey between me and Nika. It really was us finding a common rhythm that happens with siblings. Over five years, you do in-depth workshops like that, you learn almost everything about the other person. I helped build Kelly and kind of developed her. She has been living away from home. Her sisters thought she's been missing for a couple of years. And it's basically about her coming home and coming to terms with the breakdown of the relationship of her mother and her understanding of herself. There's a lot of hurt and anger directed at Kelly and wanting to know why and wanting to know where she's been and is she okay. Get out, Kelly. Oh, please, no. Get out. I don't want to be on my own. There's a very honest conversation that happens continually between Kathy and I. I feel very, very lucky to have that relationship. I feel really, really grateful to have met two creative people that I just feel like I get on a real soul level. The scene today was the end scene of the film. It's strange to have shot it. It was exciting and, you know, terrifying all at the same time. The location is just incredible. Someone said it's the closest you get to heaven without actually going. I didn't know it was terminal until I got the call, like, you need to come to the hospital. Like, she hasn't got long. When Kathy called and said, it's really bad, I, um, I don't think I allowed the thought of her passing to, to fully hit home. I don't even have the words to articulate what she means to me. I really feel like she got to do what she wanted to do with that film. I hope to God she did, you know? 
I think I'm still grieving and I think I think with the movie coming out it will help in being able to to take in everything that wildfire was and is Wow. We're a little stunned. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a beautiful piece. Thank you for, for sharing that with us and giving us all a little tiny taste of behind the scenes and the relationship and the importance of um, really this film. But if the, when I first met Cathy, there were two things that really struck me and convinced me that I was working with the director and an author. One was that she had in mind very well how she wanted to make this film. We often say that we like to make films that are different because they are made differently. And and Katy knew exactly what was needed to make this film. And the second thing it's like a process, you know, she created the process of making the film along writing it and making it. And the second thing was that I met three girls, uh, Katty, Nora Jane, and Nika, one. And the, it was like, like a, an atom of particles and with the great energy the core and it was a triangle and the and the triangle was with nika and the triangle is in the film and it will it will stay it will last even if nika is not here that's how i feel the only little bit of hope and and tonight we will we will we'll celebrate that and the and the film and the Irish premiere is there to 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 celebrate that and I, I know this is this is tough for you Kathy um, and you know thank you for um, for sharing the film and it's it must be incredibly incredibly difficult but I I, I hope there'll be some joy for you as well tonight to um, share it share it with the world and share it with Ireland and you know we're yeah. we're really really proud to um, to have it and. You know what better way to celebrate uh, Nika and all of your achievements than um, making sure that lots and lots of people get to um, get to see the film? Yeah, no, I think the thing is like it's not just um, like myself or Norjean or Carla or any of the other producers that are hurting. I think um, you know Nika was mainly based in England, but she really found um, she found her love for cinema in Ireland. She studied at the Gaiety and then she went on to study at the factory. So I'm aware that there's going to be a lot of people uh, watching tonight that, you know, have have either been at the factory with her or at the Gaiety with her or have, or have been lucky enough, you know, just to be part of her friendship circle. And there's also her family that will be watching. And you know we have we have sat with this film for a while and i'm i'm aware that tonight is going to be very challenging for some people and um i think equally in that challenge there is something incredibly beautiful and 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 timeless in, in what we've captured for sure yeah thank you so much no it reminds me of a Sorry if I'm trying to be funny, but there is a, there is anecdote that whenever a director dies, they have to watch their films for eternity. So you better make really good films. But in this case, you see everybody else in the film is with us for eternity, and that makes it really beautiful that films can you know create this miracle. Whatever you showed, it will never disappear. I really like that.
thank you so much for sharing all this with us and for giving us this opportunity to show the beautiful film to our audience tonight. And I think I will raise the glass to the great team. Yeah, wait, 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 I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm coming. With, your, with your special Sardinian. Ah, very good. Yes, yes, Cheers, yes, congratulations. Yes. And this is to the, congratulations to the premiere. Thank you. And thanks for joining us. To Wildfire. And, uh, and, to and just, just, just I know that, every, that uh, everyone's made a super effort tonight. Um, we're going to do the big foot reveal now because I know no. that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> From here down. <laughs> oh, the slippers, excellent. Yep. Very good. Very good. Love it. Matching the t-shirt. Matching the t-shirt. Please, please yep. admire. Please admire. Carlo, I'm, I'm sensing that you're very competitive. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. But let me just 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 raise the glass to the guy who helped us, who made this film, Irish and Global. That young gentleman sitting there, David. <laughs> it's you, David. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Um, I think Jim, David, thank you for calling us and giving us this film. <laughs> yeah, our no, we're, pleasure. Our pleasure. No, we love we, we 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 love working with you with you, David. So um, please keep um, you know keep uh, making fantastic films and sharing them with us. Um, I think we have just got time to um, a few sort of housekeeping notes that we're we're going to ask everybody to um, sort of get ready in a minute for the screening at half past seven. Um, and there is a Q and A afterwards, so do um, do stay around for that afterwards. And don't forget that uh, the film is up for the audience awards. There's a very handy little button on when you're watching that you can vote for it. Um, and uh, I think we're going to um, play a clip. Uh, I think the bar scene um, to now, if we have that, if that have that ready, and then we'll just say our final farewells after that. About you ladies at Grand Age? Yeah. You want something stronger? No. Sure? Yeah. You twins? <laughs> no. <laughs> Guess who's older, me or her? Hmm. Bet you're older the size of that belly on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. I, I, that's all muscle, love. Here, muscle man, see if you can do this. Watch. Oh, my legs. Yeah! <laughs> you can't be doing that in here, girl. <laughs> Why not? What are you doing? Cut it out or get out. <laughs> sure, they've done far worse than you still serve them. <laughs> yeah, far worse. You should go on now, girls. We're not going anywhere. We haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> don't shut that fucking hanging up. <laughs> you don't know who you're dealing with, wee girl. Yeah, I do. 12th of July, 92. Busy day for you, wasn't it, Jerry? My man told me what you did. Our dad was one of the 26 year bomb killed. She doesn't even remember him. And you look at early release to keep the peace. You might be a free man, Jerry, but you're still a murderer. Oh, my. Oh, my. Come on. You don't scare me, mess up. What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do, huh? Get the fuckers out of here, Nareen. That's it, girls. Bye-bye. Get the fuck. Bye-bye, girls. Can I just uh, uh, tell a funny story? Um, myself and Nika were, were in apartments in Belfast where she was the one above me, and I heard some really loud thumping. And I was like, what the f Oh, my God. Excuse my language. <laughs> Almost said it. Didn't. <laughs> um, but we, we would text her now and again and be like, oh, do you want to go get a cut or whatever it was? And so I text her. I was like, are you okay? She was like, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just practicing my headstand. <laughs> 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 so it just reminded me of that while I'm watching the clip. Oh, excellent, excellent. And um, well, listen, we are we're coming we're coming to the end of our of our uh, our sort of a live chat. So, uh, Kathy, I, I think it's only fitting that we we give you we give you the last word, as it were. Well, I hope oh, you're um, on mute. I hope this okay. film really touches your heart. Oh, am I? No, you're good. Am you're I? Good. 
My I'm back? Just, no, 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 you're, you're okay. Yeah. I really, I really hope this film um, touches your heart as much as it really touched ours because we gave a, a lot of ourselves to this film. And um, I hope the people who need to see it, see it. Thank you very much. Thank you all for joining. And um, it, it's been so gorgeous to see you. I wish we could chat for much, much longer, but we'll, 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 we'll carry on um, being together online and um, hope to see you all very, very soon. And for everybody watching, um, it's, we'll, you've got seven minutes, I think, until the start of the film. So time to get your slippers on and pour yourself a glass of wine and settle back on the sofa and join us for what will be a really, really wonderful evening of a fabulous film. Thanks very much, everybody. Lovely to see you. Thanks for joining everyone um, at home and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.